I had an inquiry from um, Claudia from the Mazangira Centre here at Ilri. She was looking at partnering with somebody who could help to get the information out about how to use um, livestock manures in a way that reduced methane emissions, etc. Kenya is a big country and we just don't have the reach or the people to get to, to each county. For us, the, the idea was how can we train trainers with important agricultural practices to improve their livestock production. I started the, so the Bodo Bodo Soil Advocacy Program predominantly because the Bodo Bodo guys have motorbikes and they have tablets, they're enabled, they can get to places, they, most of them live on farms, those that are up country, they have families that are farming. And the training then it required that they teach their plus one and then on from there they teach in their community. Nilipata nafasi, nika training wa mambo ya mchanga na katikezo training, tuka funza mambo ya soil integrity test. Nilipo anza kufundisha wa kulima juu ya hiyo integrity test. Waone mchanga ya ila mbao na limaga kila wakati wa kidisturb soil na pale ambayo ya disturbiwa. Wanyulizi sasa, nitafanyaji na mchanga wangu na nimaona mchanga wangu umearibika. Hapo ndo nikaanza kuwafunza mambo ya composting kupitia zile materials zinapatikana hapo kwa kwa boma lake hizi za ngombe na mbuzi natumia nyasi zile ambazo zimekauka natengeneza compost na onyesha vile tunatengeneza We're trying to teach these farmers to make what we call biocomplete compost which is compost that has a massive diversity of different um, soil life so you know a really comprehensive soil biome so that when we put it back into the ground it helps to strengthen our soils improve the structure the integrity and allow our crops and our soils to grow with the symbiotic relationships that they always have Kwa saizi nimekutana na kulima 300 na kati yao kulima 300 wametengeneza compost 375 Shamba langu ni eka 5 lakini nilipokuwa nalima nikitumia method za zamani nilikuwa ninanipatia gunia moja ama gunia mbili walikuja wakani trained how to make the compost manure na nikaitumia kupanda mimea yangu mimea yangu linawili vizuri ikawa na afya nzuri na nika harvest a very big yield from two bags of maize nikapata 25 eka moja Having been trained and taught on regenerative agriculture, we impact on growing maize uh, without plowing land, which was something very new to us. The second one is without using the synthetic fertilizers. Compared to what I have always been doing the other years, and even last year's harvest, I'm expecting a very successful crop facilitated by compost and a very little cost. For us, a possibility in future could be that we actually also help train them in training people like today, they got the measurement tape to train farmers to how to take the hard girth to estimate body uh, weight for the animals and see if they're growing and so on. So these are intervention points where we can maybe train them, then they can train their plus ones or other trainers even, because we already have trainers of trainers here. Well done. My pleasure. Today we're rewarding the best under soil livestock keepers. For those individuals that are here, their stories, the cost of production of producing an acre of most crops today is anything upwards from 13 to 50,000 shillings. Using soil biology, you bring that down to under a thousand shillings. It's non-comparable.